A couple of times each year, we encounter a doctor that visits and enters one of our treatment rooms, looks back at one of the high-performance overhead delivery systems and remarks, well, I've heard all about the performance and success that all these doctors have, but I can't use it because it's ugly. I'll be honest and a little bit mean, I guess. We've always been so busy that we just blew off these offices and focused on those that I felt got it. But here's the reality, and it's hidden in one of the fundamental aspects that made overhead delivery even possible. It's about what magicians understand and dentists don't. The reality is that we must have a wide array of products and technologies out and available and then be able to use them precisely in order to be productive. And the magic is having them both out and not seen by the patient. And that's where the magicians come in. I've got to tell you, I've always treated a large population of highly apprehensive patients. After all, it's almost half of our potential patient base. So what do they hate? Pretty much everything we do. But the first thing that sets them off is all the scary stuff that we put out in front of them. So let's compare treatment rooms from their vantage point. Early on, when I set out to solve the problem of optimized dental delivery, I hired a bevy of MIT researchers and productivity experts from worldwide manufacturing leaders. But I also hired one of the country's best magicians. Here's what we discovered. First, you can't use what you can't reach. is simple geometry. You can't argue with geometry. This is what gave us the parameters from within which to work to create the pathway to productive practice. It actually winds up corroborating much of the conceptual data gathered back in the 60s by Dr. Harold Kilpatrick. I'm the archivist of his film studies. He was the most productive dentist of his generation. Many of the instruments and techniques have changed, but the principles remain. You can't use what you can't reach. The second principle came as a revelation from the magician, but then was corroborated by the scientists studying spaciousness for NASA. Let me try to present this to you in a nutshell but with thousands of hours of research behind it. It's the simple fact that when people enter a room, they only view 30 degrees to the left and then across the room in this pattern, all in a tenth of a second. That indicated to us that we could do something that had never been done, thus the subsequent patents. It would simultaneously solve the you can't use what you can't reach problem and not be noticed by the patient at the same time. Here you can see the results, or rather, you can't see the results, which is the entire objective. We initially thought that the patients would at least see the technology upon departure, but because they'd be leaving, it wouldn't be that objectionable. To our surprise, and again validated by subsequent psychological studies, once people in any room in any activity prepare to depart, they begin to think about their next action and they stop viewing their present surroundings. What patients see as they prepare to depart our practices is their shopping list, the kids' soccer field, the traffic that they're about to encounter, and all the other aspects of their life that have nothing to do with that treatment room. So this is really a dentist problem, not a patient problem. We all like the look of a tidy room full of neat cabinets with everything in drawers and nothing out on the counters, but the reality is just as simple. First, you can't see in those drawers. Second, they won't be restocked properly every day, every time. And third, you've got to have everything out to go ahead and use it, which is going to put it in the field of view for the patient. Tell me that you haven't already learned this, whether you like that learning or not. Second, things that you can't reach slow you down and increase the number of go and gets within a procedure. Even small go and gets matter. This is why the typical dentist only does physical dentistry with about 7 to 10 percent of his or her time. That's horrible productivity. Last, the result has historically been that dental setups that look so nice in the showroom no longer look so nice once you actually use it. So for those of you that are concerned about overhead delivery from an aesthetic standpoint, do ponder the scientific facts combined with the simple geometry of what it takes to get dentistry done efficiently and at least give it a consideration. Go watch it in action. Faster, more productive, and less expensive on a per room basis. More rooms and less space at a lower cost. It's a sustainable competitive advantage. That's why our users have become so loyal. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the post notification to receive the latest updates. Here's to your more productive practice.